You're ready for a new car. That new car smell, the feel of a fresh steering wheel, and the open road beckoning. But then comes the big question. Should you lease or finance? It's a decision that can leave you feeling lost in a maze of financial jargon. Don't worry, we're here to guide you through it. Choosing how to pay for your car is a big deal. It's a decision that will impact your finances for years to come. We'll break down the options in simple terms so you can make the best choice for your situation. There's something undeniably thrilling about getting a new car. It represents freedom, adventure, and a touch of luxury. But before you get caught up in the excitement, it's crucial to understand the financial commitment you're about to make. Buying a car is a significant investment and choosing the right payment method is crucial. Many people jump into car ownership without fully grasping the differences between leasing and financing. They may be swayed by tempting lease deals or low monthly payments without considering the long-term implications. That's why it's essential to take a step back and carefully evaluate your options. Let's start by defining the key terms, buying, leasing, and financing. Each of these options offers unique benefits and challenges, and understanding them can help you make the best decision for your needs. Buying a car means paying for the entire vehicle up front. This option gives you full ownership of the car immediately. This is the most straightforward option, but it also requires the most significant upfront cash outlay. Once you buy the car, you won't have any monthly payments, but you will be responsible for all maintenance and repair costs. Leasing is essentially renting a car for a specific period, typically three years. During this time, you make monthly payments that are usually lower than loan payments for buying a car. You make monthly payments, and at the end of the lease, you return the car. Leasing can be a good option if you like driving a new car every few years and don't want to worry about long-term maintenance. Financing involves taking out a loan to cover the cost of the car and then repaying the loan with interest over time. This option allows you to spread the cost of the car over several years. Each option has its pros and cons, and the best choice for you depends on your individual circumstances, financial goals, and lifestyle. For instance, buying might be best if you plan to keep the car for a long time, while leasing could be ideal if you prefer driving new models. Let's delve deeper into the advantages and disadvantages of each method to help you make an informed decision. By understanding the nuances of buying, leasing, and financing, you can choose the option that aligns best with your financial situation and personal preferences. Leasing can be appealing due to its lower monthly payments compared to financing. This is often one of the primary reasons people consider leasing over buying. The lower monthly payments can make it easier to fit a new car into your budget, especially if you're looking at a higher-end model that might be out of reach if you were to finance it. You're essentially only paying for the car's depreciation during the lease period, not its full value. This means that the amount you pay is based on the difference between the car's value when new and its estimated value at the end of the lease. This can be a significant saving compared to financing the entire cost of the vehicle. This can free up cash flow for other expenses. With the money saved from lower monthly payments, you might be able to invest in other areas, such as saving for a down payment on a house, investing in your retirement fund, or simply enjoying a higher quality of life with more disposable income. Additionally, leases often come with warranty coverage meaning you won't have to worry about unexpected repair costs. Most leases cover the car for the duration of the lease term, which can provide peace of mind, knowing that major repairs are unlikely to come out of your pocket. However, leasing comes with mileage restrictions, and exceeding them can result in hefty fees. These mileage limits are typically set at 10,000 to 15,000 miles per year, and going over can cost you significantly sometimes as much as 25 cents per mile. You also don't own the car at the end of the lease, so you'll have to return it or purchase it at a predetermined price. This means that if you fall in love with the car, you might end up paying more in the long run to keep it. Financing, on the other hand, 
allows you to build equity in the car. Each payment you make goes towards owning the car outright, which can be a significant financial asset. Every monthly payment brings you closer to owning the vehicle outright. Once the loan is paid off, you have a valuable asset that you can keep, sell, or trade in as you see fit. You have no mileage restrictions and the freedom to customize the car to your liking. This can be a big advantage if you drive a lot or if you enjoy personalizing your vehicle with aftermarket parts and accessories. However, financing typically comes with higher monthly payments than leasing, and you'll be responsible for all repair costs once the warranty expires. This can add up over time, especially as the car ages and requires more maintenance. Section 5. Monthly Payments the immediate impact. One of the most significant factors influencing your decision will likely be the monthly payment. Leasing generally offers lower monthly payments compared to financing, making it an attractive option for budget-conscious individuals. However, it's crucial to remember that those lower payments come at a cost. Financing, while resulting in higher monthly payments, allows you to build equity in the car. Each payment you make chips away at the loan principal, increasing your ownership stake. Consider your monthly budget and determine how much you can comfortably afford to allocate towards car payments. Section 6. Ownership. Pride versus Flexibility. Owning a car outright brings a sense of pride and accomplishment. It's yours to keep, customize, and eventually sell or trade in as you please. You have the freedom to drive as many miles as you want without worrying about mileage restrictions. However, ownership also comes with responsibilities. Leasing offers flexibility. At the end of the lease term, you can simply return the car and walk away, hassle-free. This can be appealing if you like driving a new car every few years or prefer not to deal with the hassles of selling or trading in a vehicle. Section 7. Long-Term Costs The Bigger Picture When making a decision about leasing versus financing, it's crucial to consider the long-term costs involved. While leasing may seem more affordable in the short term due to lower monthly payments, it's essential to remember that you're essentially renting the car and will have no ownership stake at the end of the lease term. Financing, while initially more expensive, allows you to build equity in the car and eventually own it outright. This means that once the loan is paid off, you'll no longer have car payments and can allocate those funds towards other financial goals. Section 8. Making the right choice for you. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to the leasing versus financing dilemma. The best choice for you depends on your individual circumstances, financial goals, and lifestyle. If you prioritize lower monthly payments and flexibility, leasing may be a suitable option. However, if you value ownership, building equity, and having no mileage restrictions, financing might be the better choice. Carefully consider your financial situation transportation needs, and long-term goals before making a decision. Don't be afraid to seek advice from a trusted financial advisor to help you weigh the pros and cons and make an informed choice. Section 9. Your Financial Journey. Take Control. This section is all about empowering you to take the reins of your financial future. Choosing how to pay for your car is just one step in your overall financial journey. It's a significant decision that can impact your financial health for years to come. By understanding the options available to you and making informed decisions, you can take control of your finances and achieve your financial goals. This means not just knowing the choices, but also weighing the pros and cons of each. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more you know about managing your money, the better equipped you'll be to make sound financial decisions. Reading books, 
attending workshops, and seeking advice from financial experts can all contribute to your financial literacy. We encourage you to share your experiences and continue learning about personal finance. Engaging in discussions with others can provide new insights and perspectives that you might not have considered. There are countless resources available to help you on your journey to financial freedom. From online courses to financial planning tools, the internet is a treasure trove of information. Remember, it's never too late to start making smart financial choices that will benefit you for years to come. Setting clear, achievable financial goals can provide direction and motivation as you navigate your financial journey.